do it yourself. Fuel oil placement. All right, here we go. First thing, shut off your fuel pump. Then start the car and let it run until it stalls. Grab an 8mm socket. Undo these little bolts that hold the fuel reel on. That's all that holds them on. Make sure you grab some paper towels because there will still be some gas in there. You basically just pull the fuel rail off and a little bit of gas is going to come out. You probably want to do a better job than I did of putting paper towels around the injectors. If you spill a little gas, no big deal. Soak it up with the paper towels and let it evaporate. Next, you got to unplug the sensor from the fuel rail. It comes off nice and easy. And then there we go. We got one side done. Gonna have to unbolt a couple things like the upper piece of your cold air intake here. Gonna unbolt the uh, fuel rail here. This bolt is a little bit harder to get at. You might want an extension. It's not that bad. It's not like that spark plug right next to there. That thing's a real pain. You just pop this off and uh, the fuel rail. It doesn't take much. You don't want to force it off. If you take it off nice and easy, you can usually reuse the O-rings. If you want to, though, they're cheap. You might as well replace them. All right, you got to take off your uh, EGR valve here. It comes out pretty easy. It's a 10 millimeter. There is a little gasket behind here on the EGR. You don't want to lose it or break it. It's pretty fragile. So make sure you're careful of that. Don't forget to put it back on when you're done. Once we uh, unbolt these, we'll just you just slip it right by there. It's no big deal. All right, next, the throttle body linkage has got to come off. The uh, connecting hose on the fuel rail goes under here. These aren't too bad to take off, kind of a pain to put back on. All right, next let's uh, disconnect the fuel line. First take that little clip off, then take this special tool, you can get it at Harbor Freight. Stick it in there, then the fuel line disconnects real easy. If you don't have this, it's going to be a real pain. The tool is like $2 or something, definitely go get it. All right, it's real easy to put the new fuel rail in. Want to just line it up with your injectors. Make sure you get new O-rings. They are really cheap. Get them ahead of time. You don't want to have a problem with your O-rings. Not good. I changed my fuel rail because the uh, rubber hose, which actually has metal inside, I think, it got melted a little bit and it was leaking gas. Pretty good. Not fun. Okay, uh, let's put all these bolts that we took off back in. Throttle body linkage. EGR. Make sure you have that gasket in there. You don't want to finish and then realize you don't have that. It's not good. Last bolts on the throttle body linkage. Should be pretty self-explanatory. It can be kind of a pain. Sometimes things pop off when you're taking them apart. Pretty easy. All right, there we go. New fuel rails installed. Start the car up. Make sure nothing catches on fire or explodes. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more Do It Yourself.